I've got this older New Holland L425 skid loader. These were made in the late 70s to early 80s. This boom cylinder leaks fluid pretty good. Uh, the end does not come unscrewed. You can see it's welded. Um, I did not have a service repair manual. I did a Google search online. There wasn't any real good pictures or videos of this cylinder on fixing it. I found a couple discussions where guys had leak and um, posted a question about it and some guys replied that these were welded cylinders and that they're sometimes referred to as a tube in a bottle or even a ship in a bottle. And apparently what you have to do is take the hose off the cylinder there and then there's another adapter too from the cylinder to the hose. You unscrew that and then you have the you have to unhook the cylinder up there too so you can move the rod. You have to line up the end of the ride rod with this hole and then you stick a screwdriver in there and there's a round snap ring on the end of the cylinder. It looks like the cylinder is the same diameter from end to end and there's two slots uh, cut into the end of the cylinder. One is deeper than the other one and there's a snap ring in there and when it's on the shallower groove the snap ring sticks up higher than the, the uh, seals so then when it extends the snap ring prevents it from going out the end and so what you have to do is take this hose off take a screwdriver push the snap ring into the deeper groove and then it'll compress by spring action to either the same outside diameter or maybe a little smaller than the rod. And then you should be able to pull the rod right out the end. And then you can replace the seals. And uh, let's see, where did I put those seals at? And then once you pull the rod out, you can replace the seals in the end here. And then I believe there's some O-rings on the end of the rod down there. So that's what I'll do. I, I won't film the whole thing just after I disconnect. I already got the retaining hairpins out of both pins. So once I get the hose off and then working on that ring, I'll show you what it looks like in there because I wasn't able to find any videos online that explained how to fix this and I haven't fixed it yet either so I might screw things up but we'll find out okay I got the cylinder out you can see the the end there there's a snap ring here I'll move the shaft here See, that's the end. There's a snap ring there. It's in a shallow groove. And then right next to it is a deeper groove. Can you see that? And then what we have to do is take a flat screwdriver and push that snap ring into the deeper groove. And I'll do that now. Okay, I think you might be able to see now that I, I moved the snap ring from the shallow groove to the deep groove. It went pretty easily. I just used a, a small flat screwdriver like this. And that makes the snap ring the same diameter as the rod or smaller. And now I'll see if it'll pull out. 
Let's see if I, I might have to, uh, just a second. Okay, now I'll try to pull the rod out of this tube here. There might be some fluid coming out there. Yep, see it came out. Yeah, there are no O-rings or seals on the rod at all. They're all in there. So I'll replace them and put it back together. This is what the rod looks like when it's out of this bore. You can see the snap ring is in the deep groove. And then you can see the shallow groove. The rod is just one size all the way down. There's no piston on it. There's the outer seal and then inside there there's a groove for the inner seal. Here are the seals. This is the one that goes inside and then this is the outer wiper seal. It comes with a new snap ring. This is the inner seal that was in there. As soon as I pulled the rod out it the pieces just came out. And then this is the old the original wiper seal. I use the little 90 degree pick to uh, get the seals out. I got had to get behind it. This one has a steel backing. So I just tapped it down behind it in a couple spots to get it started then it pulled right out. The one that goes inside is all rubber and there's one little piece here that's still a circle. But then the rest of it's all in pieces. So I'll put these seals back in, shove this rod in, and then uh, push that snap ring to the shallow groove to lock it in. I'll, uh, hopefully the next video will be it in the machine and not leak. I got the cylinder back in place. It went back together pretty well. The inner seal fought me a little bit, but I was able to get it in and it looked good. Um, we'll see if it leaks. I'll start it up. I gotta add some fluid to it. I'll start it up then back it outside raise it up and down there'll be some air in it to begin with and uh, then we'll see if it's the leak is fixed. Here's a look at it from the outside there's a little bit of residue left from the previous leaks but before this thing just that little bit this would all be drenched in uh, oil and uh, so luckily it worked out. Well, I can see there's no leak right now. I raised it all the way up and uh, until the cylinder deadheaded. So hopefully that's a completed repair. I luck out once in a while. Thanks for watching.